Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and as you can see, it consists of many components. So as you can see, it consists of SR flip-flop, transistor, LDR, LED as well as the comparator. So to solve this question, you should be aware about the working of all the components. So here as you can see, this LDR or the light dependent resistor receives the light from the LED. So as you can see over here, under the dark condition, the resistance of the LDR is equal to 5 kilo ohm, while under the illumination, its resistance is equal to 5 ohm. ohm. So here, this LED is in the off condition for the time t less than 0. And at time t is equal to 0 second, this switch S1 is closed for 1 millisecond. And after the 1 millisecond, once again, this switch S1 has been opened. So here, we have been asked to find the condition of the LED whenever the switch S1 is closed and once again, whenever the switch S1 is opened. So first of all, let us see at time t is equal to 0 minus how the circuit will behave. So here, we have been given that for this time t less than 0, this LED is in the off condition. And since the LED is in the off condition, so the value of the resistance of the LDR will be equal to 5 kilo ohm. So first of all, let us find the voltage at the inverting terminal of the comparator. So here, using the voltage divider rule, we can easily find the voltage at the inverting terminal. That means here, this V minus is equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 5 kilo ohm times 5 volt or that is equal to 5 by 6 volt and here this V plus is equal to 2 volt. So as you can see since the V plus is greater than V minus so the output of the comparator or the V out will be equal to 5 volt. That means this voltage will be equal to 5 volt or we can say that for this SR flip flop the input will be equal to logic high. That means at t is equal to 0 minus, both S and R inputs are logic high. And here as you can see, this SR flip-flop is the active low. That means whenever its both inputs are 1, then it will retain its present state. So we can say that at t is equal to 0 minus, both S and R is equal to 1. And therefore, for the given flip-flop, the next state will be same as the present state. That means presently, whatever is the output of the SR flip-flop, it will maintain the same output. And here we have been given that initially, this LED is in the off condition. And therefore, this transistor should also be in the off condition. And as you know, for the transistor to be in the off condition, its input voltage should be equal to 0 volt. So we can say that initially, this Q output is equal to 0. So if we just summarize it, then at t is equal to 0 minus, both S and R input is equal to 1. And this Q output of the SR flip-flop is equal to 0. And in this condition, this LED is in the off condition. So now, at t is equal to 0 plus, this switch S1 has been closed. So in this condition, now let us see the working of the circuit. That means now at t is equal to 0 plus, this switch is in the closed condition. So now, through this path, the current will start flowing through the LED. And therefore, this LED will get turned on. And since the LED is in the on condition, so now, the value of the resistance of the LDR will also change. So in the on condition, now the resistance of this LDR will become finite ohm. So in this condition, now let us find the voltage at the inverting terminal of the comparator. So now this V minus will be equal to this 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 5 ohm times 5 volt or that is equal to 5 divided by 1.5 which is equal to 3.33 volt and at the same time this V plus is equal to 2 volt. So in this condition now if you see then this V minus is greater than V plus 
and therefore now the output of the comparator will become low that means this output voltage now will become low and the same will also appear at the s input so now this s input will also become low so in this condition if you see then this s is equal to 0 and this r is equal to 1 and since the sr flip flop is the active low so in this condition now the q output of the sr flip flop will become 1 that means now this q output will become high that means as soon as the switch s1 gets closed then the led will get turned on and at the same time the q output of the sr flip flop will become high and once the q output will become high then the input to the base of the transistor will also become high and because of that now this transistor will start conducting now at t is equal to 1 millisecond once again the switch will get opened that means at t is equal to 1 millisecond if you see the circuit then once again the switch will get opened but in this condition now the input to the transistor is equal to high and since it is high so this transistor will conduct and due to that now the current will flow through the led through this path and because of that this led will remain in the on condition and since the led is in the on condition so this ldr will also receive the light and because of that its resistance will remain finite ohm and due to that the voltage at this node will remain 3.3 volt and due to that the output of the comparator will remain in the low condition so due to all this the output of the sr flip flop will also remain in the high condition so in short after the 1 millisecond once the switch s1 is open this led will remain in the on condition that means whenever this switch s1 is closed then this led will get turned on and after the 1 millisecond when the switch S1 is open, then also this LED will remain in the on condition. So from this we can say that for the given question, this A is the correct answer.